so that we can refine and look at what's the best way of solving this problem. And uh, indeed, uh, we will be uh, encouraging those engagements. And then when we come back, uh, we'll meet with the community. There will probably be a lot more uh, clarity on a number of issues that relate to uh, how our interaction with the community will go. I want to leave it at that at this point, if my uh, other comrades would like to make a comment. Oh, uh, yes, just to also say that uh, uh, we were concerned <coughs> about the fact that uh, we were told that uh, there was a shutdown of schools. We are aware now from the briefing that we got that there were individuals who made uh, the kind of call that the schools should shut down, and, and some of the uh, individuals in the um, uh, department did get concerned about it. But we have assured, been assured by the police that they were standing ready to give support to the schools and that they have not issued a statement to uh, indicate that the threats were so much that the Department of Education had to consider closing down the schools. So we believe that <clears throat> there will be engagement with the Department of Education just to assure them of the support from the police and that uh, we would like to encourage as many of the uh, parents and school government bodies uh, to uh, report to the police if they were concerned about anything, but that uh, it was not a direct uh, decision uh, of the security as well as the department to close down the schools. But it is understood that in some instances there was a, a situation where uh, there were concerns around security and that, that made uh, parents and some of the school government bodies to feel that maybe the uh, children and it should be allowed to go back to school, let her go back home. So I would like to again appeal to all those involved that uh, the, uh, we should not uh, disrupt the education of our children. We need to uh, find the correct mechanism to address the issues that we are addressing, but we really would like to appeal for calm uh, to return to the um, uh, uh, whole area and at the same time we want to also assure them that we are together and trying to find the solution uh, to bring the matters uh, to a closure and to uh, normalize the situation in this area. Thank you. <coughs> you guys are covered. Okay, well, thank you very much. I don't know where there's specific questions from the media houses, which are here. No, I don't think you guys are fine. Yeah. Okay. It's for the first time that I experienced it. Yeah, it's a lot of problems. You just got a little bit of a problem. Nera from the SABC. I just wanted to find out one of the things that the community were <coughs> angry about was the fact that the ANC leadership is taking so long to take action and they were saying that they feel that you are siding with Mayor Matika around all of these issues. What's your answer to the ANC taking so long to do something? Because this started, uh, it's almost three weeks now when this started and they feel that nothing has been happening from the ANC side specifically. Okay, uh, uh, my, my name is Suma Kenke Pajisa, I'm from Revival FM, and thank you for the opportunity. Um, my question is directed to Mr. General Kuhitane. When the protest began, um, just before the looting, looting you know, took place, um, the marches, people started you know, marching obviously to the Sokai municipality, and then members of the community were concerned. They, they, they said that um, could the police not use the intelligence to see that um, you know the, the marches were going towards their direction and then looting were going to take place obviously based on the experience and the looting that have been taking place in other provinces for example and the northwest so, um, members of the community are of the, of, of, they believe that um, um, the police has failed to use their intelligence i just need you to, to know what's your take with regard to that and another question will be directed to and representatives of the African National Congress. After Mr. Majika, I think it was last week, uh, when he said that it is only the ANC that will be able to remove him just before he made that statement. 
a statement that came according to the DFA that the ousting of the of the of the mayor was an illegal coup d'état, and the agency made a statement that um, all councillors are going to take disciplinary action towards those councillors who voted against the mayor. I just need to know that is that still your stance? And then the mayor also came out saying that um, only the ANC will be able to remove him because it's a deployee of the ANC. And what is, is that still the case? Is it still the ANC that is going to remove him? And when is that going to take place? Thank you. Okay. Can, I, can, can I just quickly? There's another hand. Oh. Sorry, I also have a question. That's a mention from the DFA. One of the demands of the protesters was that um, should we also be. Um, forced to resign and they have raised concern about um, the relationship between the ticker and um, these commissioners. Just one thing I noticed that hasn't been brought up at all. Was it raised by the leaders of the community when they met with the national delegates? No, I think let me start with an easier question. It sounds much easier than the others. That issue was not raised with a meeting that we had with the community leaders this afternoon. Uh, on the issue that the agency is taking too long to respond, uh, I, I think that's a bit unfounded. Because even before the first protest, the agency initiated engagements with the community leaders. We had several meetings, all of those meetings at the behest of the agency. We called them into meetings to engage on some of the demands which they raised. It is the ANC decision that supply team municipality must reverse the neutral structure. It was the ANC decision. It was the ANC decision that the municipal manager, together with the chief financial officer, be suspended pending an investigation. Those were all ANC decisions. And we took those decisions out of the engagements which were taking place between the ANC and as well as the community. <coughs> On the issue of the removal of the mayor, uh, the mayor is an ANC mayor. He is deployed there by the African National Congress, and uh, he serves there at the pleasure of the African National Congress. If there's any reason that necessitates the removal of the mayor, the ANC will take that decision. That is the reason why we never stopped engaging the protesters. We embarked on a continuous process of engagement with them to get to understand what are the actual reasons for which they want us to remove the bill. So, so, so the mayor is an ANC mayor deployed by the ANC and is correct when he says that the ANC were removed. The council meeting that took place there at all fact that the ANC in the province were disgusted by the fact that ANC 11 ANC councillors colluded with opposition councillors to depose an ANC mayor. We are, we are seriously disgusted. We are very angry about that. Uh, we can't have ANC councillors who act outside the ANC mandate and do their own thing. It's regarding the difficulties that the ANC is confronting. We can't allow that. There is no self respecting political party that will allow that. Opposition parties don't allow that. ANC, we can't allow that. So ANC councillors act on basis of caucus mandate in council. So before there's a council meeting, there's a caucus that takes place. And in the caucus, complex issues get teased out. And the decision gets taken, and which ANC councillors must implement when they get into council. So the fact that we've got 11 ANC councillors who colluded with the opposition to depose a sitting ANC member, we don't take time to that. For us, that's a blind in our understanding of how the ANC should work. So that is that, with, that, with that issue, we, we, we are following it up, and we are definitely going to address it as soon as possible. But one of the issues that we agreed on Right, uh, we were live there in Kimberley, the ANC reporting back and we know that ministers have been on the ground 
huge political ructions in Kimberley after the mayor, Matika, refused to vacate office even after a vote of no confidence that was pushed through by the DA with the support of 10 ANC councillors. He's been refusing to leave the courts today, he said that the mayor should vacate his office uh, pending the uh, outcome of the legal dispute that will now be heard later this month. The DA saying he must leave the ANC, saying that council sitting uh, that voted was not in fact legally constituted. All right.